Здрасте. Hello. My name is Svetlana, but you can call me just Lana. It's more international, like Lana del Rey. I am financial expert, specializing in debts, credit cards, cash flow, and investments. Recently, I went into cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. So, give me your money, and I will duplicate it. Hello and welcome back to Paula Accent Maker, your professional accent coach. If you are watching me for the very first time, then please be informed that I have a very specific sense of humour and such parodies are an integral part of my tutorials. But no offence, no hard feelings, it's just for fun. Today we are going to talk about the most important financial and banking words. I will give you the British and American versions of pronunciation. Let's get started. So, number one. Is it cash? Is it cash? How to pronounce it? It's something in between. You have a very broad R. It's cash. Cash. In the American accent, it's also cash. In our example, Will you pay by credit card or in cash? Will you pay by credit card or in cash? And how about this one? Should it be O? Should it be O? Should it be A? So in the British accent we say bonds. Bonds with Z at the end. Bonds. And in the American accent, we say Bonds, Bonds. It's exactly like James Bond or James Bond. And another one. So the first one is easy. It's stock with a short O. Stock in the British accent. And in the American accent, it's stock, stock. But how about the second word? It's not extend, it's not extend, but it's exchange, exchange. So we don't have X, we have X, and then we have J, there is A, like in rain. Exchange, exchange, stock exchange, stock exchange. And how about this one? It's not income, but you need to say income, income, come, like come here. In both accents, we say income. And let's take a look at our example. Come here to increase your income. Come here to increase your income. And how about this one? This word is composed of two words. The first one is easy. It's share. In the British accent, it's share. In the American accent, it's share. Share. But how about the second word? Usually people say this what they see. So simply holder. So it's not ho, like in the word hostel, but it's ho. Holder. Holder. I round this ho. Shareholder. And in the American accent, it's shareholder. Shareholder. And how about this one? It's not invest. You don't have E, but you have E. And you don't stress the first syllable, you stress the last syllable. So you need to say invest. Invest. And in the American accent, it's exactly the same. It's Simply invest. And the noun form is investment. Investment. So you still stress vest. Investment. And you reduce the ending. Investment. Investment. However, in fast speech, you can skip middle T and you can say investment in both British and American accent. Investment. 
And let's take a look at our example sentence. My income is low, so I can't have any investments now. My income is low, so I can have any investments now. Did you find this film useful? Great, but it was only less than 40% of what I've prepared for you. Would you like to get the remaining 60%? It will soon be available in my online course about pronunciation for business. Follow my Facebook, Instagram and newsletter for details about the course. Let's take your English to another level. Stay tuned, Paula Axenmaker, your professional accent coach.